Hello and good afternoon. This is Janaid and I'm super excited to be here to talk about GoBox Studio and the integration with Stream Deck. In this hardware, we are using the Stream Deck with Ecamm Live. It, it makes life so much easier because you can do fun things like this. But things like this, subscribe, bring up different things on the screen and just makes it so much easier. So I'm going to walk through how I've set this up on the Stream Deck. Now, if you want to go back to you or if you've played with one, you've probably seen this layout of on the Stream Deck. So let me share my screen. All right. So this is the Stream Deck and this is how it basically works. We've got the full screen mode, got the light board sequence. These are the call to actions. These are the different things for guest appearances, keynote circles and whatnot. So all of these things are designed specifically for demoing the GoBox Studio so you can quickly get to that screen setup. So the way to set it up is once you have a scene set up in Ecamm Live, you can then program this guy to show exactly at that screen let's start from scratch we're going we're going to go ahead and create a new profile and in this new profile you have these 15 blank buttons now since we are using ecamm live we have the ecamm live plugin installed right over here and let's say i want to say hey every time i press this button over here i want to go live so i'm going to simply drag this go live button here and since i am live right now it's going to say finish Next, I want to say, hey, if I want to change the mode, like for example, if I want to do behind the scene, I can click on this button down here, like so, and it's going to tell me, hey, do you want to publish the changes or do you want to go preview mode? So it's a really cool button that if you're using the custom functionality on the Stream Deck, that's what it's going to let you do. The most important one is run scene. This is going to enable you to choose between the different scenes that are on your Ecamm Live, and you can then change them. So for example, right now it's selected to full screen. If I do the down arrow, it's gonna then show me all the different scenes that are available on Stream Deck that it's reading from Ecamm Live. And you can simply say, hey, every time I press this button, bring the three up share screen. So what I've done is I've created all of these uh, different layouts and different scenes in here that you can switch to. All right, so as you can see here, what I've built in, in the, on the Stream Deck is, this is a master control layout, and then I can switch between this one to say the podcast setup, to then a YouTube setup, and then all of these setups are then accessible by pressing this single button over here. I can press the button here, I can switch to podcast, I can switch to YouTube, webinar reactions by simply pressing a single button on the stream deck i can show you these buttons so for example this button down here sequence is connected to the video down here then i also have these cool pop-ups that come up i can show you different things and you can change all of this so for example if you wanted to change this call to action you would simply put a new image in and make sure that you're choosing that image when that button is pressed. So the next thing that I want to do is show you how to set up this scene in on, on Ecamm Live. So this is the software for Stream Deck. I'm, I'm running version 6.2. Uh, the ver This version just came out, so 6.2 is what we're running. And the cool part about uh, Stream Deck is that you can have multiple Stream Decks on your system. I, I can control my computer with the Stream Deck software as well as the iPhone. So both of these devices can be configured. And you'll notice that over here even I can switch to iPhone. And on the iPhone I have these other uh, layouts loaded. So I can go to this one and press these buttons on my iPhone. But since I don't have it connected right here, I can go to this screen. And because it's connected, I can press this button right here on the Stream Deck physically. Right here, so I'm gonna press this corner button. It's gonna let me go to 
all of these different layouts. All you have to do is a way to zoom into that screen. So again, this is the podcast view. This is the webinar view. The reactions, call to actions. And then I showed that this was popping up. And now you can see the desktop. So I have this guy. This is the comments window. This is the call to action window. So over here, you'll see all the call to actions. And then here is the stream deck window. So all of these actions over here, subscribe to YouTube is then linked to this one. Uh, subscribe to YouTube and then share video. This one should be connected to this button, which obviously it isn't. So I can simply go in here and say, Hey, uh, share video and then smash the like button will be then connected to smash the like button folder so now when i press these buttons on the screen you should be able to see smash like share video subscribe and all because i linked these buttons to the correct item below comment below so don't forget to comment below <laughs> right and that's uh that's how you go the cool thing is um, this screen that you see, these are all the comments coming in from Facebook and they show you the little icon. And this is a feature of Ecamm Live. And I can simply pop this up and press this comment below again. So that's how you set up Stream Deck. Again, if I wanted to add a new button, for example, this is all brand new green button. I have confetti with air horn connected to this one. So here you have confetti flowering up. And on this button, I haven't changed anything. So these are all confetti buttons, <laughs> which is pretty fun. It's a quick, short live today, and I'll be back next week talking more on Stream Deck. All right, thanks again for watching and hanging out with me, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.